guys, welcome back to Survival Records, where I have only just recently breached a, uh, uh the Parallax Frontier Outpost, and it is still shooting away at things out in the night, in the dark. I did uh, just a fair amount of opening of doors and, uh, Taking a look at things, there's a gun right inside here, right, right there. That's, yep, there we go. I uh, haven't dealt with this gun yet. Um, which I guess I really ought to just, you know, disable it. This one up here, ooh, oh, that's... Oh, there's a gun up there. Well, I didn't notice that one. I noticed I noticed this one over here. I ground. I, went, I walked over. I built all these platforms out and uh, and can I can I get that? Come on! I want to pick up the scrap so that I can. There we go. Well, anyway. Um, ground that down. And evidently there's another... Another interior turret up there. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, let's go ahead and... Deal with them one at a time. So this one first off, let's just take this panel out entirely, have that gun drop to the ground, or at least be depowered. Okay, well, looks like I got me some inventory full. Mm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna drop everything off into there and then work on finding my way up the stairs here. I love how they've incorporated this oof, that's that's rough. I love how they incorporated the um, the inside of the refineries. Oh dang it. Well, okay. Uh, I should have any trouble getting back to that now. Just a matter of uh, not getting shot by something on my way in. And we're back, and here's my body. No worries, no worries at all. So, we gotta keep an eye out on my thirst meter, my water usage, because I did make some adjustments to, uh, to the food usage. So, let's go ahead and drink something, and we'll see how, how frustrating that ends up being, or staying, if it does stay frustrating, or not. We'll see. Now, um... That was a particularly bad angle. The gun was able to shoot me right up the top there. Okay, what about up here? Um, I guess... So, yep, there's the gun there. You can see that one. And... Oh! Ugh! Oh. Be right back. Okay, well, you know what they say in, in uh... Oh, gosh, it's okay. Um, finance. Throw enough bodies at the problem, you'll end up coming up with a solution. Your health yeah. is low. Okay, yeah, yeah, health is low. Thank you very much. Let's, uh, let's recover that health a little bit. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, okay. Guns on top. I am not successfully uh, fixing them. What is this? That That's an AI control module. Let's just get rid of it. Um... Oh man, that's got a lot of hit points for being made with just a few aluminum plates. I'm going to completely remove the block. Uh, except that whatever block up there is attached to it is dependent on it being where it is. Okay. Let's grab some these and replace this and we got some of that so here we go our floor is going to be solid again oh that's the blue sky color of the uh what's it called the air skiff hmm Now, do I try and figure out... Oh, see, I think the guns are not on the floors of the... Uh, those. If they're up here, it's above these... Hmm... Is this block still here? Is a question. Okay, getting everything straightened out. Looks like it is, in fact, missing a block here. Or was that block never there in the first place? Looks like it's missing. So, some damage must have come through earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and also flatten out the roof the ceiling here and let's check what's through these doors can you see it through there ah yeah turning on my high lights uh, there's a gun right right there I would you right in the line of shot. There's no way I could get to that without opening the, uh, without getting getting shot. Okay, uh, which means that must have been what was over here as well. Shot to pieces. Kind of curious about what's up above me here. Oh, just some some of that. Um, what are we looking at here? We are... Let's get our drill out. Or not drill, our welder out. Let's get these blocks properly shaped again. Kind of important to make sure that they don't uh, deform you don't lead you, mistakenly convince you that they're actually um, providing you cover or not providing you cover. It's, it's good to make sure you get, get, them, get them welded out again. I don't... Oh, that's a doorway. Okay, let's... Let's do this. That... Uh. Oh, that's something shooting back that way. Oh, dang. Shooting at more wolves. Again. Okay. Still have empty stomachs all the dang time. But, kind of makes sense. My hunger and thirst were both low. Let's, uh... Let's do that. And that. Let's see how long it takes them to drain me now. Okay. Nothing in that corridor. What would oh man, what was over here that I dismantled? 
with my errant bullets, you know. Alright. We got corridor. What is it that I see up there? Oh, I just saw a turret nose. Oh, on the other side of that. Uh, holographic display table, looks like. So if there was one over there, it means there's one right there. And it just had a beat on me, and I backed out of the way just in time. Ooh, okay. So... Something I have seen... I think I can get doing... Is... By getting on the ground like this, I can keep below the angle. Nope. Eh, that's too finicky. That gun is just in the wrong spot. But can I hit that block through? Is it, it's not, it's above, so it's above the block, above the stairs. That's one, two, three. We've got I'm just trying to get a decent idea of where it's positioned, so I can get to it, you know? I feel like it's gotta be... Gotta be up in here somewhere. Above this one? Oh, I can hear a wolf down there. Alright, let's just take out the paneling enough to see what I can see up here. Oh, it's above this one. Ah, look at that. See? That's now red. Okay. A little more. Nope. What? Where's the gun? There, there it is. Okay, it's above this block and up. Alright, I'm gonna take this out. Yeah. Oh goodness, that could have shot at me. I'm gonna take this block off. Uh, to drop down that turret. There we go. And then I'll do the same on that side. Alright, with this turret out of the way... Inventory full. I should have a clear time of things on this floor do all right oh hey I research available I have a research point cool Ooh, this, this is, look, look, look. That's a, an industrial assembler. Oh, cool, okay. Oh, and that's, uh, storage shelf. And a storage shelf, it doesn't, mm, that's disappointing. It doesn't actually have the stuff on it or their equivalents 
like it would if it was uh, the base game. Mm, okay. Another very... What, where is that coming from? Over here? Okay. It's coming from over there. Look at this. We have a spawn center. If I grind it down, I should be able to grind it down with computers and the copper wire. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Why? Mm, what do I need to do? Oh, hey, good. That's that's the kind of ammo that I need for the big Gatling gun. Um, okay. I want to actually have to do that, so then I can do that. I mean, it says I could take the spawn designator out. Can I can I craft one of these a spawn center on my own already? What uh, what does it say? Looks like they're they're green for some reason. I can make them. All right, let's hack it down below functioning below that. All right. It says offline. And turn it on. Hey, now. Uh, okay, now that I've got that up, let's... Let's, okay, I'm going to continually be going through here trying to get these plates back up, pop into place, so I'm not walking through a shortened height ceiling. But, ah. Uh, fix that as well. Okay. Let's find this last gun that keeps spooking me. What is over here? It's like Oh, it's a little observatory-like room. Oh, yeah, and that gun is so much closer now. I think it's the one on the outside. Oh, look, you can see it. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's the one in the doorway. It must have an opening to the outside. Okay, cool. Well, a little bit of a no-clip type of a glitch going on, but... Alright, that's better. Get these things back into shape. And look at this, we've got a cryo chamber. Empty, I hope. Hey! Cool. Let's keep checking this place out. Okay, I think this last gun over here, I can... Yeah. It's in this little alcove there. Yeah, see it there? Uh... Mm, how do I do this? Probably just cut away into the space. Can I... Maybe if I got rid of this hallway? Inventory full. Inventory full. Oops. Well, uh... Okay, I 
I guess I'll go drop this stuff off. Alright, looks like there are two more interior turrets I have no access to. And I know where I saw one of them already. That was down here. Alright, so I'm gonna guess that it's on the other side of one of these blocks. Hmm. I could see it through the door. It's attached upward. Oh, there it is. See? Huh, I could access its inventory. Uh, looks like I need to go down from above. So, like here? Yeah, that's it there. I wonder if this is going to drop, but it's got it. Yeah, I did put some stuff into it. Um, just in case. Inventory full. Yeah, ugh, everything. Okay. Which means there's another one over in here. Possibly right here. All right. Well, I uh, we we're we we're on top of the world here, on top of this building. Um, hmm. I might be able to snag some gravity generators out of this. Interesting. Well, uh. It's a good thing these guys don't attack or target uh, players. Otherwise, that'd have been SOL. But hey, that's it, guys. That is done. I have access to this roof. Um, the the space is mine. I chopped down this tree that was behind here because I wanted to not have them going through the uh, the branches going through the, the walls there. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna you know what I, you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just fix this space up really get a good clear idea of what it is I've collected and found what I've claimed and then I'll bring you back when I've got my next plan. So grabbing the assembler. Hmm. That should have unlocked some blocks for me. Because the... Uh, the turrets that I'm worried about these guys. I don't have them unlocked yet because I need to make an assembler. Industrial Advanced Assembler. Advanced Assembler. Hmm. Odd. Because I can, I can make the assembler. I just did it. I have access to this assembler now. But it didn't unlock those blocks for me. Damn. So, I am going to slowly disassemble the industrial assembler and see about assembling the, the the vanilla assembler. I wouldn't mind the industrial assembler staying where it is. It looks to me like they can do the same things. But from what I can tell I didn't unlock the uh, things associated with unlocking an assembler fixing this one up. So let's see what happens here. Okay. Hey, yeah, there we go. Unlocked new blocks. 
Let's go ahead and put all this back into that industrial assembler here. Because, because it looks cool. It looks good. I just remembered something. I think part of the reason why being able to grind down and then build up a block unlocks things for you is because you're the owner of the block. So, like, I ground down this refinery. Let's make sure that before I fix it, I shift the ownership to me. Okay, now it's mine. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. No. Th this thing is taking forever to uh, to weld and grind. Like, like, really, really long time. Let's show you how long this takes. That is absurd. I need better tools, is what I need. Alright. Well, aside from some blocks I can't build yet, like the airtight hangar doors, um, this, everything, is mine. I'm having an issue where I don't have the bulletproof glass to rebuild those, claim those fully. And speaking of bulletproof glass, in order to be able to do airtight hangar doors, I have to be able to build like a door, but that requires bulletproof glass. Even this one, that's like, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I need to, to go get my stuff from the other base. I, it's nighttime. Um, we have a power source, this wind turbine. I have... Oof, I still have some dents in the surface uh, to fix up. We've got to grab some recharged power cells. Those to finish building them up. I uh, was able to get this mostly full. 97% of its Hydrogen is still intact, and yeah, our frontier base is ready to be made, turned into a home. Anyway, our air skiff right over here. Let's go ahead and grab it. And we'll be on our way. Um, we could go check out this Holloway farm and the cave over there. Freddy's treasure. Very curious about those. But I'll wait until it's daytime to uh, go do some exploring so everybody can see. Okay. Finally. The last piece of equipment that needed to be claimed by me has been claimed and uh, it's just it's, this is taking a very long time with these slow tools but it's all right I was just in the background of uh, hanging out with the family all that stuff going through them one at a time to uh put uh, the steel back in as much as I can. It was nice. So, um, as I was saying, you know, it is now all owned by me. Some things are incomplete because I could, I didn't have them unlocked at the time or they're just damaged. And, but otherwise, <clears throat> it's good. One thing, uh, definitely of note, is when I got these guns fixed up, they have 242 millimeter shells in them. I got nearly 400 of them. That's pretty good. So anyway, now that the sun has risen again, I am going to go and check out the Halloway farm. 
Where's the uh, the input slot? Here we go. Nice. Oh, I I didn't show you. I made some thermal liquid because it was getting a couple of during the during the worst storms. It gets cold here, so I try and fix that up. So I made some thermal fluid and a thermal fluid condenser thing on my one of the trips I made it back to the uh, to the little base so let's go check out the Halloway farm well I didn't really expect it to be loaded with weaponry but good to know that it's not oh speaking of being loaded with weaponry I decided to take the guns off of the air skiff. This thing is mostly just useful as a, you know, a barge moving things back and forth. I didn't like the idea of having it loaded up with guns now that I have a proper assembler available to me. I can just make the pieces I need to do a combat airship. So, what do we have here? Kind of neat so far. Oh. Doors. Incomplete. Huh. Access denied. Okay. Why is it not showing up as red? Hmm. Shower and toilet and everything. Yeah, so there isn't really a lot to this. Imagine that if I want to grind this down. Yeah, see it takes out one of the bulletproof glass, so I can't repair that without grabbing some. These, these, however, um, can be ground down without taking out the bulletproof glass, but not if I'm not paying attention. There, like that. So, a uh, bit of canvas and... God say, I'm damn lucky the turret was offline, otherwise I would have been shot down long before I bumped into it. I'm starting to see why they tell people not to enter these old bunkers. And I just waltz straight inside like an idiot. Lucky idiot, but still. Nevertheless, uh, it was totally worth it. Gold and silver to last me a lifetime. If I fix the turret, I'll have a nice vault for myself. Maybe build me a nice farmstead nearby for easy access to the vault. <laughs> well, if you haven't played the... Um, Lost Colony scenario, you really ought to. It's a good, fun scenario. Uh, well laid out. And, yeah, definitely, definitely worthwhile. There might be a tool in this. Apparently not. Yeah. Check this one, and then I'll be done. Hmm. Some aluminum plate. Interesting. Well, I suppose if I really needed some basic materials, I could grab them from here. I 
I'll also, on the supposition front, if I head to that cave, I wonder what it's going to be like. Let's go figure that out. All right. There's not a lot to what I can see on the surface there. Well, let's drop off the bits I grabbed and take a look at this. Mm, access denied, to be expected. Oh. Oh, it goes down into the voxels. How about that? Forget those damn turrets. Damn it. Caught me pretty bad. Wasn't really expecting to bleed out after being shot by my own turrets. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, good to know there's turrets down here. Um Here, look at that. I have changed the orientation. Now we're climbing up into this space. And there's the turret right there. So let's... Out of ammo. Also out of ammo. And I can just grind it. That's annoying. Fuel low. Fuel critical. Hmm. This place is like silted in over the last however long it's been since anyone was here to. Interesting. Well, let me, I, you know, I don't remember this cave in the, uh, in the original storyline, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig through and see what I can find. Hey now. Take a look at that. Some silver ingots, gold ingots, missiles, and a zone ship. That's... That's good. I don't know what's in this, though. And if I'm careful like that, I'll be able to open it. Some more money. Some superconductors. Uranium reactor components. Cool. That's probably from the mod. And an elite hand drill. Oh, goodness. That is... Uh, good. It's... I mean, they're not... <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'm still sort of doing a little bit of hand, hand mining. Um, is there anything on this side? It is obviously a lot faster. Oh. Stir. Yep. I'm done 
with this. That's neat. Uh, getting the getting the elite my uh, drill is nice. Um, I'll be able to put it to good use. That's for sure. So, just gonna keep an eye out, see if that turret on top swings in my direction. Looks like that's... N no, it's not. Oh. Well. Hey, at least uh, there's not a inhibitor field on it. So I might be able to go in there, maybe do a little bit of sapping, digging in from underneath could work out. Ah, well, so now that I've checked out those two things, I think what's next for me is deciding just how much of the lake base I want to transfer over to the frontier base. How much of, uh, well, how much materials? Do I want to just completely start everything over there? Mm. Definitely some thinking to do. I'll uh, obviously let you know what I decide. So, I think I finally have the wa Thirst Drain Multiplier set to a, a reasonable amount. I mean, I still have... It's it's silly. I have the number set to an absurd amount. But I think maybe it's, it's going correctly. I, I don't know. I still feel like my character's peeing more often than if they were pregnant. But... We'll see. Um, the other thing I've discovered is the line from the medical room up there ends here, and if this were a older style um, uh, refinery, maybe that would have been enough to keep it all piped together, but it's not, and it isn't. So I'm digging my way into the wall here. I'd like to get a good understanding of all of the ports uh, on the conveyor system. Yeah, look at this the conveyor system for this place before I start dumping all of my materials into its inventory. Like, notice there... I, I brought the rover over. I brought the rover. Uh, and I brought the air skiff over. And I'm trying to decide th there isn't enough storage on the base as is it's just literally two cargo containers two small cargo containers here and there so i need another cargo container uh, probably a large one i could fit a large one in and i bet you i could fit it in relatively simply if i attach it to this could maybe even put one on either side. Or I use one side as a garage, like I've got over here. And then I use the other side as, like, the laboratory or the, the grinder. Like, add in all of those uh, various assembler pieces that are needed for the, uh, for the advancements. So... I'm going to putz around a little bit, poke around, see what I can uh, make a decision on, full. and I'll show you what I decide. Hey, guys. So, uh, a wandering merchant has spawned in, and I'm heading over to check it out. And what you might notice immediately is I have a nice, big, clear, clean uh, HUD. I don't have a bunch of wheels up in the top left. That's because I was futzing around with them. I could, I, I kept getting displeased by and uh, 
frustrated with oh, the rapidity of my um, my character being getting thirsty. Yeah, uh, you know. So like, I kept wanting to do something to fix that. Oh, neat. Huh? Metal grids are a thing. Well, maybe the, the maybe they're a thing for a reason. Anyway, um, I kept wanting to fix it, so I kept adjusting the the config file, and, and eventually I got it to where I wasn't like just constantly going through water all the time. But then I um, I got the obesity stat. Because I wasn't burning off the calories. Because apparently there wasn't a difference between burning off calories and burning off water. And so setting down the setting to burn off the, the both of them, the digest... Uh, it got too frustrating. I got... To, I decided I didn't enjoy it. So I removed that part of the mod. So there might be other parts of the mod that are broken now. It seems as though I still have the whole funky um, new materials that I have to work with. Let's look in the assembler here. So we still have, you know, copper, ceramic powder, nickel ingots, silicon, etc. Right? And they create different things here. Although this is much smaller. Possibly because I'm not doing the thermal fluids, so it doesn't matter to me if things are getting hot or cold. That's fine. Um, another thing, lithium power cells, oh neat. Another thing that I've, uh, I've decided is the mod author for this mod has their own AI processing decision node. It's a... Where did I put it? Here we go. It's an AI inventory manager block. Oh, huh. No wonder things are acting weird for me. So in creative mode for having to figure out what the heck's going on with that mod I was troubleshooting. Ah, but anyway. Yeah, a, an AI inventory manager block. I'm going to give that a shot and see if... Um, if if that will make it uh, make it make stuff better than the Izzy's inventory manager was was doing because Izzy's was having issues. Speaking of all of that, I've decided that this right, you know, yeah, the right side of the of the base. I, it's been so much more damaged than the left side. I'm going to redesign it um, we'll leave this side over here as a, a little hangar we our rover fits into it well enough so over here on the right we will redesign it as a um, you know the, the in the production center the, the inventory and we'll throw in those various uh, production modules so I need a laboratory a grinder, and and what else? Actually, thumbing through here earlier, certain things got taken out. An armory. I'll need an armory. Yeah, so I'm gonna get to work on all of that, and I'll uh, I'll bring you guys back when I have it sorted and set up. So I am working on connectors to the base. This one, as soon as I finish, will be where I park air skip temporarily. I'm thinking I might have a more permanent solution for all of this, with like a landing, landing pad, landing area. So the air skip will connect to there, and the um, the the mining rover. Cool. I did, did a little bit of a little connector 
here because of the way that they've positioned with the wheels and everything it always it's like slightly off or slightly down so halfway up and down i might be able to get away with retracting the mm, no nah, it's just not just too long maybe i'll do a, a redesign for a rover at some point here oh and of course Hmm, something I've been able to do is, yeah, there's that, let's drop that stuff off, alright, now, here we go, this is loaded to the brim with the pores and stuff that I refined from the previous base. And here we are. That's that. that There's that. And now that it's connected, there's the assembler in here. It should. Yeah. Grabbing everything it needs to make these things. Uh, oh, we're missing some ceramic powder. Okay. So that brings us to the next thing. Uh, oh, and we're missing brass ingots, of course. And a lot there. Needs more transistors. Transistors need copper. How many more transistors does that one need? 200 more of them? that. No, because I need the ceramic powder. Okay, so that touches on uh, what I want to do next, which is build up the base production stuff. So a laboratory is... I want to do the, uh, the, the full-on laboratory. That's 120 steel plates per... I've thought potentially put them down here like this so the laboratory and the grinder go in here and here it's could work should work we'll see i might think about be laying them out a little more artistically so like i put one here front to back and then you can access them via a, uh, a walkway to ramp to get up. We'll see. Um, oh. Uh, I mean, they're designed to sort of go next to a refinery like that. Uh, now i got to decide, do I want to do that or not? Well, as the sun is going down, I'm going to head back to the prior location um so first of all let's go ahead and get the medium I U M cargo containers okay medium cargo that's what i'm looking for and i want to slide all of that stuff into this one these as well. Yeah, so this, I'm emptying out the air skiff. I'm going to go bring all this material back to... No, not bring it any back. I'm going to go get it from uh, from the other base. Come, come on. Let's get it like this. And did I just hear a wolf? I did hear a wolf. I was a little worried, honestly. Uh. <laughs> Large 
charged tubes. All right, well, I was, um, after disabling the stats, the, uh, the, the health and other thing, obviously the, that gets rid of the need to have there be food. And without the need for food, there isn't a uh, need to have the wolves drop meat. And so I had thought maybe they'd gotten rid of the wolves entirely. Looks like I still have them. Well, hopefully this is the last few minutes of futzing about with uh, the needed materials here. One more. What do I need? Ten more transistors. Okay. And finally, the inventory manager block. So, I don't know how this works. I guess I go in here. Um, cargo definition. Startup initialize. Is enabled, yes. Is valid to work, yes. Had work to do, no, is working, no. Okay, so looking at the mod, it seemed as though what I need to do is define certain cargoes. So like, large industrial cargo, add selected cargo to pull list. And there. So that way, those two large car containers are being, if enabled, will stack items, slots, if possible. Sure, let's do that. Sorter type. Mm. Type name item. I don't know. We'll, we'll pull from subgrids, pull from connected grids. Okay. I'm going to look through this a little bit. Energy critical. Go get some energy back, uh, so I don't uh, don't faint or whatever. And uh, I'll bring you back when I show you what I think I figured out. All right, guys, I think I have figured out the basics of this uh, this new inventory manager mod. Yeah. So there's the AI inventory manager. And it, uh, it's a little, a little hard to understand what's going on at first, but effectively what it is, is you, you have various options that control the entirety of the program. The, the, that's what these are, pull from connected grids, yes or no, and the tooltips help a little bit. What you do is you pick one container. So I have components, large cargo container. And then it'll tell you it's a large, uh, large industrial cargo container. So you then click to add the selected cargo to the pull list. Okay. You then down here, while you're still selected on that, you tell what you want to do. You want it to pull into that container. And then what is it you want it to pull? Well, you want it to pull uh, items based off of these uh, these options here. So item type or item ID. So if you wanted to have it pull very specific things, you could use like 107 millimeter rockets. Alternatively, you go with item type, and then you have the, the various generic options like components, ores, ingots, etc. So for this components LCC, I've added the component item type, pull type component. So then there you go. And then you can even go to ignore specific blocks. Like, say you want to have a, one container that specifically has iron and gets in it for some reason. You could create that and ignore that one block. Now, the AI assembler controller, I'm assuming, is going to work effectively the same way. You want it to... Yeah, okay, so you want it to produce an item 
type. Uh, no, you want it to produce an item ID. You want it to produce a component. And you want it to produce... Let's have it produce capacitors. I don't want a thousand, so I'm going to click press. So let's have it make 200 components. Add stock meta. There we go. Blocks of selected type. Laboratory, grinder, industrial. Okay. It's not to be ignored. So... I think that's going to go ahead and have it make... Let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's making the capacitors for me. Looks like it queues them up five at a time. And then in here... We'll see what happens if it gets to uh, 200. Maybe I'll, I'll add transistors and say 150 on that. So let's go with assembler, controller, transistors... Have it be 150. Okay. Add that. And now, I'm well, still working on these. Oh, I bet you it'll prioritize finishing these first and then. Yeah. Looks like it's gonna be done like that. Well, guys, I am. Uh, in, I have, in fact, confirmed that these are working. Um, we'll see how well they work. I wanted to show you the one thing I figured out. For the assembler. To do, where is it? Here we go. The assembler controller. I can set that I want. I just. I always want 200 steel powder. Now, the refineries are always going to be taking that steel powder and turning it into steel. So that's never going to be fulfilled. And, I, and I'm noticing that, like, with the laboratory, it, uh... Wait. Maybe it's overproduced and the refinery is caught up? No. Oh, I thought I'd figured this out. Well, it's not quite... It doesn't seem to be quite as responsive as Izzy's. With the, uh... With the way things work. Um... Uh... Yeah... Um... Well, anyway, one of the the things that I figured out down here is you can do production triggers. So in here, for if I have a high amount of iron, I have the trigger that if I have iron powder over 5,000, or no, iron ingots over 5,000, and iron powder less than 500, it will then produce 500 iron powder. Now that iron powder is what's needed to make the iron... Uh, the, the steel ingots. I'm wondering if my... Uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm at just over 5,000. I have the iron powder have some aha carbon powder i'm gonna go grab some carbon quickly and bring it back and see what happens hey there we go it's making the steel powder again because i brought that carbon in ah so anyway that uh that seems to be working um and it's got a little bit more 
functionality intelligence than Izzy's inventory manager does? Maybe? Either way, I mean, it was almost specifically designed to work with this mod pack. It's the same mod author. So, who knows? Um, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll prefer it in the end. Though, all of these strange components, like the supercapacitors and whatnot, I'm wondering what they translate to if I'm not using this overhaul mod pack. We'll see. Uh, for the time being, though, I am going to finish setting things up down here. I moved one of the speed modules off of the assembler and put it over here onto the laboratory, because uh, the laboratory is making the steel for me. Steel is still the, the bottleneck, but with the way I have it set up now, that bottleneck is not going to be prominent for very long, though, I mean, as you, as you saw a minute ago, I'm down to 5,000 ore. Oh, yeah, look at that, 5,000 steel ore. So I, I wonder, hmm, I was trying to make that still. Well, I'll have to keep an eye on that. And while I keep an eye on that, why don't I say thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Survival Records. I do hope you enjoyed it. And, oh, I got more puppies to play with. Uh, I, if, you, uh, if you did enjoy it, go ahead and leave a like. Um, let me know what you think of the mod pack so far. If you got any questions you want me to try and get an answer to. And, uh, and I'll get you in the next episode. So, until then, thanks for watching.